Hello students, lesson number 11, human body and organ system. Under this lesson, yesterday we had seen the working, uh, the structure and function of heart and this blood vessels, blood arteries, capillaries, yet that we had seen it yesterday. Okay, now the next point is the blood circulation. No, that was also over. Next point is the try this point, material. For this, what we have to take? 2 feet long rubber tube we have to take with a small aperture. Okay. And stopwatch and funnel. Hmm? Fit a funnel at one end of the rubber tube. This rubber tube is there and it's one end we have to put the funnel. This is the funnel. How strainer is there in our home? In that way, this is there. Keep a wide mouth funnel on a left side of thorax. Okay. And what we have to do? Uh, this wide mouth, this mouth is there that we have to put on our thorax and bring the other end of the this, this end we have to miss here is your thorax part and other end we have to bring near to our ears and record the number of beats per minute using stopwatch. This is what we have to do, this tube we have to take and here we have to put the funnel. Okay, that we have to put on our thorax, suppose this is a per, your friend friends thorax is there thorax means the chest part here we have to put it and from another end you have to hear the heartbeats of your friend and that recording you have to do you can do it with the your friend also next uh, think about it pulse find correlation between heartbeats and pulses felt at the wrist on our wrist when we put on the finger what happens <laughs> Then this uh, we have to check the pulse rate and what is the relation between heartbeat and pulse rate that we have to find out. Yes, whenever we are doing we are looking the pulse rate, there is also contraction, it takes place contraction and relaxation due to this what happens pressure created and blood flows forward. Next question is the can you tell questions are there? How can we feel pulse behind the ears near the heel of foot? And how are these, uh, how these pulses occur? How these pulses occur? How these pulses occur that we have to study? Can you tell question? So, can you, means here behind the ear and near the foot of heel, then there also pulses occur because just we seen that when the blood is flowing through the blood vessels, at that time also what happens to a if we apply the pressure on the blood then it moves forward and for that purpose what happens there is a what there is a so here it is the answer of how we can feel the pulse behind the ears and near the hill so the reason behind it is that the feeling of pulse through the temporary artery can signal the malfunction of the body vessel is rare it can also in the heart when your heart is moving excess blood with the each heart beat okay now this is the answer of this and the next question is the what flow out means what flow out when we have an injury as you know that all when we have an injury the blood is oozes out from the what our blood vessels are from the body next question is the blood Blood is red colored, you know all, and it is fluid material, means it is liquid. It is fluid connective tissue. The oxygenated blood is deep red in, red colored, salty in taste. If you take, if whenever you are getting hurt, we are putting our finger in our mouth, so its taste is salty and its pH is 7.4. Okay, this is information about the blood. Blood is which? It is red in color, it is fluid material, it is a, a kind of a connective tissue the oxygenated blood is red in color okay salty in taste ph is 7.4 and blood is composed of mainly two components and which are those two components that is blood plasma is there that liquid part and another is the blood cells are there blood cells rbcs are there wbcs are there in the blood and platelets are present uh, sorry platelets are present in the so we will see one by one the bloods first plasma 
plasma as you know that whenever we have uh, we have some diseases then we are going to um, that uh, uh, dmlt center to give our blood so what they are doing they just they are do doing the centrifugation means uh, centrifu uh, centrifugation and the plasma they are separated and color of plasma is pale yellow okay it is clear slightly alkaline means basic fluid and it contains what is their plasma it contains 90 to 90% of water is present in the plasma next uh, 6 to 8% of proteins present 6 to 8% of proteins 1 to 2% of inorganic salts are present and other components are also present in the plasma second albumin hmm? second means plasma second content is the albumin first content is the uh, uh, plasma information given and here albumin distributes the water all over the body what is the albumin is there which is distribute water all over the body next is the globulin it is doing the protection next it is the fibro uh, fibrinogen or prothrombin or prothrombin fibrinogen or prothrombin help in blood clotting process as you know that when we got hurt then what happens after some time on that wound or on that scratch a uh, a small red colored uh, hard substance is formed and that is nothing but the clotted blood okay and that blood is clotted over there and that clotting what happens that clotting is not takes place then what will happens all the blood from our body what will happens it will flow out then the person can die and that clotting point is there means blood clotting gothne we are saying in marathi blood uh, rakta gothne that process is very important and if it is not takes place then then what happens the blood from the body will flow away and then the person may die so clotting is very important process next it is the inorganic ions which are those inorganic ions calcium sodium potassium and these are present and what they are doing control the function of the muscles and the nerves okay that is about the plasma so what is what is plasma what if in exam they may be asked with a uh, short note on plasma so plasma in yellow in color clear slightly alkaline in fluid it has 90 to 92 percent of the uh, water 9 to 8, 8 to 6 percent protein and some organ inorganic salts are there okay next it is the albumin it is doing the it distribute the the albumin which is present in the plasma it distribute the water all over the body globulin protect the body fibrinogen or prothrombin is there it is help in the process of clotting and it is very important process and inorganic ions are there that is calcium sodium potassium control the function of the muscles and the nerves okay that is about the plasma now after this we will see the blood cells blood cells are three types rbc's wbc's and downside i told you that is the platelets are present in this so first of all rbc's that is red blood cell r from red b from blood and c for carpal uh, carpuscle that is rbc's are the main so rbc's they are small rbc's are small they are circular means this type of cells are there last year you have the cells inside this structure is there e nucleated cells means inside it nucleate is absent these cells appear red due to the which hemoglobin which is present inside the it and hemoglobin globin's color is red and that's why the blood is red in color oxygen dissolves in the blood due to hemoglobin okay hemoglobin is present in the blood and that's why this oxygen is dissolving the blood next 50 to 60 lakhs of RBCs are present in each cubic millimeter of the blood. Okay, one cubic millimeter means on your scale. As you know that this is our scale with zero, and here ten lines are there. This is fifth line, one, two, three, four, and this is one. So from here to here, how much is there? Means this much area is there. Okay, so this much in this much area, whatever dot I shown you that that much area 
contains 50 to 60 lakhs of RBCs are there. So how small it is you can imagine that. Then RBCs are produced in red bone marrow in our bone, bone marrow is there and there RBCs are produced. And life form means what RBCs life is there and how much is the life of RBC 100 to 127 days is the life of RBC okay that is about the first blood cell that is RBC and in short I will uh, next it is the WBCs the WBCs are the what they are fighter or soldiers in our body so W from white B from blood and C for cell WBCs white blood cells these are large okay these are larger nucleated inside it nucleate is present RBCs inside nucleus is absent and because of it what happens hemoglobin present that is why oxygen is what happens get absorbed colorless they are not have any color and 5 to 10,000 RBCs is present in per millimeter cube of blood means that much is means their size is bigger that is why this much 5 to 10,000 of WBCs are present in per millimeter cube of blood. Five types of WBCs are present. Which are those? Basophils, eosinophils, neutrophils, monocytes and lymphocytes. These are the types of WBCs and these are present in the blood. WBCs are produced in red bone marrow that is also RBCs are also produced in red bone marrow and WBCs are also produced there only and just now I told you that WBCs are the soldiers of our body any foreign material if enter in our body any foreign material it may be virus it may be any bacteria then what happens this WBCs comes in function and they fight with them and they kill this what the foreign material like how soldiers uh, protect our nation from the what the attack of enemies in that way this WBCs are one working next is it is the WBCs acts as a soldier in our body next functions these cells attack the pathogens these cells means WBC attack the pathogen pathogen disease producing bacteria means pathogens entering in our body just now is sometimes what happens our partners whenever we are sitting from those and now you know that coronavirus is there that is also spreading and at that time what happens the WBCs are comes in function now these cells attack the pathogen entering in the our body pathogen means what I told you disease producing bacteria and they protect us from the microbial diseases okay that is about the WBCs then next it is the platelets platelets these are extremely small the platelets are very small disc shape disc how the disc are there otherwise cds are there that shape is there 2.5 to, 2 to 4 lakhs platelets are present in one cubic meter of blood okay millimeter of blood and its function is the platelet participate in the blood clotting process and that is very important process okay sometime in accident the person is getting the what deep uh, hurt deep hurt and at that time what happens the protection blood clots then what happens the flow of blood can stop so in short the blood cells are of three types wbc rbcs and the platelets red blood cells are there they are circular small and enucleated inu means nucleus absent and nucleus absent that's why oxygen they can absorb more in form and who helps to absorb the oxygen hemoglobin oxygen dissolved in the blood due to the hemoglobin 50 to 60 lakhs of RBCs are present in cubic meter. This is 50 to 60 lakhs RBCs, 5 to 10,000 WBCs and 4 lakh to how much? 2.5 lakhs platelets are present in per meter millimeter cube. Next it is the RBCs are produced in red bone marrow. The WBCs are also produced in a red bone marrow. See here it is given downside. Okay. Then life for its lifetime is 100 to 120 days and WBCs they are produced also in a red bone marrow and they are soldiers in our body and the function of this is the two of uh, RBC's function is to carry the oxygenated blood and WBC's function they are the soldiers of our body and they are protecting our body from the pathogens and next part is the platelets they are extremely small to they how much it is uh, we, uh, are present in one cubic uh, per meter milli millimeter cube 
that i told you and its function is main in the clotting process so that is our our about our blood if you are say looking when your report is giving means whenever you, some diseases we have and then what happens doctor is giving or that person uh, dmlt center person is there he is giving our blood so inside it these types of all the report is present how many bloods are pre rbcs how many wbcs are present in your body inside our basophis how many so eosinophil neutrophils monocytes all this information is given if you have your means uh, someone grandparents or any parents anybody's blood report then you can see and do the study study how it is given now in our next lecture now we'll see the functions of blood so today we will stop here only hmm? so all of you learn the what information about the plasma and blood cell and all of you do the study of this and then we tomorrow we will see the functions of blood it is very important because blood plays a very vital role in the process of living or in the living organism in all respiration digestion inside its role is very important so we will see it tomorrow okay so today we will stop here only okay thank you all of you do the study read the lesson properly which are the new words do note down learn its spelling ask me the meaning if you don't understand any word and with this you have to write the can you tell think about it and try these questions are there that answers you have to find out in your take uh, find and write down okay use net if if you want you can use the net write down the questions on google and find it sir answer okay thank you